Great work. Keep it up. Thank you. Uh, Thank my, you. My old friend Jim Dow was the president for a while, and uh, yellow, yellow Light Brian was there for quite yes, a while. Yes, I had dinner with last Thursday. Oh, really? How's he doing? He's doing very well. He seems to be doing fine. I think he's in the right place. Yes, and I, I told him that you would be very proud of him, and he said, I don't think he knows that I'm doing as well as I am. I said, I think he knows you're Oh, doing yeah. No, no. I tell him I keep track. I, I know. I get, I get, he, he probably doesn't know that I'm on the email list. Oh. So I get emails from the okay. development company. Awesome. Yeah. I'll, I'll touch a little now. Do that. <laughs> Great to see you. Tell him I'm keeping track of it. Okay, I will, for sure. <laughs> Pleasure. Yeah. Thanks for coming down. Thank you. Are you enjoying yourself? I'm enjoying myself immensely. I'm seeing people I haven't seen for years and meeting new people. And what's not to like? Look at all the great food and the and the wonderful people and services. And it's, this is a great part of the of uh, Maine's business community and also our social and cultural community. So it ain't work to be around here. And I'm also wondering, uh, Senator, are you excited about what you're seeing with the um, increase in hospitality in Maine? Oh yes, it's a it's a it's a really growing segment. We've had a series of really good years. Um, and of course, weather has something to do with it. Right. But uh, I, I'm I'm very optimistic. One of the biggest problems we have is a labor shortage. Yes, uh, we're working that, on that. Well, sure. everybody's working on it. I was at a Vogue Tech Center this morning talking about their culinary programs oh, and awesome. their. You know, we've just got to have young people understand that this is a great opportunity and a great growing business. Okay. Absolutely. Good. And I was wondering, since you were governor, what kind of changes have you seen in Maine hospitality? Well, I think it's it's, uh, it's grown substantially, and and the uh, volume, the number of jobs, the the, uh, the dollar volume, uh, people are discovering Maine. And one of the most amazing figures I've heard is something like 85 percent of the people that visit Maine want to come back. That's well, what does that tell you? We got to yeah. get them here in the first place. That's right. And uh, so, you know, I, I think. And the other nice thing that's happened is uh, that the uh, visitor industry is not just the coast. It, there's a lot of opportunity inland, places like Moosehead Lake, the Rangeley Lakes area, the yes. Western Mountains. Beautiful. Uh, huge amount of growth out there, and people are learning that. Uh, you know, Maine really has a, a very, probably one of the greatest varieties of, uh, of visitor experiences in the country. I mean, where, there are very few people, places in the country where you can be in the mountains and be on the ocean within an yes. hour and a half. Absolutely, in the city. And like the city, and Portland is a hot, hot place, and and the, the little towns, uh, whether it's Monson, Maine, which is really booming up in in, uh, in central and western Maine, or Kingfield, or Bangor down east, it's all good. What's your favorite part of Maine? Oh, I'm not going to answer that, because if I did, then somebody else would be angry. I, know. I can't. Yes, you know, I, I can't like it all. I mean, you can we can tell by your time. I'll tell you where. Person. That's right. You've got the we've got the patriotic lobster. See them? They got their little flags right there. Uh, my favorite part of Maine is wherever my wife Mary is. Oh, perfect answer. Thank you, Senator Thank you. Pig. Great to be to with you Expo. guys. See you later. All right. <laughs> We're still live here on the Facebook page for the Hello. Hello. Got a good photo of you and Senator King right oh, there. Great. I'll make sure I he's send working, that along. He's working his way through the expo. <laughs> yes. Having a good time. Are you this having a good, good time? Good. This is good. That's a great turnout. Yeah. Very good. Lots of. Are you happy with it? Oh yeah. I haven't had a chance to look at too much, but it looks like there's some incredible vendors right behind us. Plenty of food. Plenty of food. Of food. Thank Thanks, Kathleen. See ya. No problem. Oh yeah. Sure. You know, you might have heard about it. Oh yeah. Well, that's cool. Good for. Oh, thanks for being here. Now, NCR is that the old National Cap Register Company from Ohio? We have here. But you go and get your stuff. Uh, PG Merrill Seafood. It's wow, sounds There's cool. There's a video online. Uh, Cod had it. What's your name again? Yeah, that's Cod. Joe Patty. Nice. Joe Patty. Gotta check that out. There's a lot of stuff happening here at the. Cross Insurance Arena. This expo is going on until four o'clock. A lot of people in the industry, a lot of vendors. Uh, what do we have here? Makuchi. Hi. 
Hi there. What do you have today? Um, I represent Forever Cheese, so we're a specialty cheese importer, and Mikuchi sells a lot of our products here in the Portland region. Um, Italian, um, one Spanish, so we focus on Italian, Spanish, and Portuguese cheeses. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to show this one. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Hi, I'm with the Maine Restaurant Association. Hi, how are you? Facebook Live. What do you have here? So these are cannoli. So we have the deconstructed version of the cannoli, which is cannoli chips and ricotta dip, and then we have actual cannoli. So the traditional way where it's already pre-filled. And you sell these at Macucci's? Yeah, so I'm actually from this, the cannoli company, uh, in Macucci, which is Golden Cannoli, and then Mikuchi carries that as well. Awesome, that was so good. Thank you so much. Are you having fun? Yeah, so much fun. Thank you. Yeah, coffee, my favorite subject. Hello. Hi. With the Maine Innkeepers Association. Doing a little Facebook Live video here. <laughs> Tell me, what do you guys have? Okay, so can you tell me about your coffee? Well, we roast here in Portland, all small batch roasting, 100% Arabica. Uh, it's excellent, best around. That's great. <laughs> we have some samples too, right? Yes, we do. We, like we, that. Also have, we also have cold brew today. What do you have? Cold brew. Cold brew, can you tell us about it? Well, it is our harborside blend, and we're using the Bruista cold brew system and it works extremely well. It's very easy to make cold brew. Okay. Can we see it? Sure. It's right here. Video here. Are you going to pour it for us? Sure. Thank you. So is this available for restaurants? Or? We are strictly wholesale, yes. So, so you're saying that a restaurant could order the cold brew wholesale? Make, them? make their own. Make their own, and you'll teach them how to do it, or yes, we would absolutely teach them how to do it. Right. And we would also provide the coffee perfectly ground because you have to grind it much more coarsely when you're doing cold brew. Awesome. Thank you, Steve Post. Very welcome. Try this. <laughs> A lot of good stuff happening here, and it's just getting started. Main restaurant, lodging expo, the largest in northern New England.